Here we go. See you, dude. Yes. Yeah. All right, guys. Can you believe this? It's actually snowing out here. We've got the kayak loaded up. You can see there's snow inside. It's April the 1st. This is not an April Fool's joke. It is snowing here. Kingsport City, but we got the kayak loaded up. That's a look, new look at my uh, trailer thing. It'll actually do two kayaks, or you can do one in the middle. That's it, guys. So we're heading out. Let's go uh, catch some fish this weekend. All right, guys. I wanted to, uh, in this video here, give you a complete overview of my kayak bass fishing setup. And uh, this is on the new Canoe Frontier 12. Just got this boat uh, last week, earlier in the week, and it's super, super excited about this kayak. So guys, let's get right to it. So as you can see here, this is the Yak Attack. Uh, it's got the Yak Attack sticker on there. Um, got a few Yak Attack products on here, so just representing. And we've got the uh, Catch X board, which is right here. But... Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from bow, go back to the stern, and then just give you a complete walk around. Front handles here. Uh, I've got just some NRS straps strapped to the trailer here so that the kayak isn't going anywhere. Starting up here at the front, we've got the front hatch. And, well, before I say the, the front hatch, we've got the rod tip protectors right here. As you can see, I've got rods in here. Don't necessarily know if I'll always... Uh, keep my rods there or not more than likely um, I will or if like I'm changing baits or whatever I'll just stage the rods right there so we got these rod tip protectors they're nice so if you're coming up you're beaching you can put them in there and that way you know you don't worry about getting your rods cracked up against rocks or whatever uh, caught in trees etc so then we've got the front hatch you can see it's got a nice gasket around it here just keep the water out then we've got this hatch here this right this hatch right now it's just got extra baits in it you've got your uh, your you know marine horn there a baggy screwdriver what extra power pliers dude wipes must have on the water uh, if you're going to be out all day kayaking must have dude wipes so that's the front hatch it snaps down pretty easily just grab that right there that'll pull it down the battery's going to ride uh right here so right in front of the hatch and what i'm going to eventually do is grab some velcro that way the just velcro the battery right there so not a real expensive battery but it'll be right there for easy access and then coming around over here to the other side you got the hatch there represent just fish up in bristol virginia but then this is like i said it's where your battery will hook up here uh, this is for your transducer so it mounts there um i'll just let these wires you know set freely right here and then i've got the wires for the garmin 73 sv in the in the van there so that'll all mount right there again coming over here we've got the mighty mount uh the yak attack um sidearm thing forget whatever it's called but got that here and then we've got the garmin i like how it's easy for me to move it you know so Depending on how I want to, you know, see it, I can. And so it'll mainly be focused right there, and it'll be tightened down a little bit more than that uh, tomorrow. Coming around here, guys, got a couple rods staged up right here. Just a couple spinning rods. They're up in here with some baits tied on. You can see I got my tackle uh, that I carry with me on the kayak all right here. Uh, just tucked up neatly under my seat i can sit up there everything's within reach um if i wanted to i could put stuff right here as well behind the seat uh the seat does swivel so you can see i'm gonna have to make some adjustments there um and then also as far as the swiveling goes i've got to be really careful because i do have a few things tied off like my knife here so i may have to rethink some of that stuff but you know, I don't really do a whole lot of turning anyway, so I'm not too concerned about it. But the seat does swivel around. Most important thing on the, on the kayak here today is this life jacket. Must have on the kayak, okay? This, this stuff, like I can actually move this to here. And I'm just doing this live while I've got you on here. So it's not a, 
pre-recorded thing so i could do it like that right there i can still reach you know my baits there uh if i want to and uh they're out of the way got plenty of room for my feet there just it got the uh catch x board over there so the blue one the 30 i want to say it's the 32 or 36 inch board 36 inch board i believe uh next up coming on back to the back we've got some straps here just uh if you want to clip something extra in you can if i want to put a cooler back here i've got room for a cooler uh, to ride right there got my flag here it's not cooperating right now so i'm gonna have to figure that out but got it on the rail here in the back got the crate there with just some odds and ends in it uh carries the net as well and i may probably i don't know i may take the net out of there and when i'm actually out on the water and just lay it you know something like that to where i can get to it really quickly more than likely that's what's going to happen in a real life scenario <laughs> then moving on back here uh, to the stern we have the nice cart here that uh, came with this guy and so it just mounts in here like that and then i can shove it through of course there's ropes there and then you can see i can just wheel the kayak back on that take it right to the water by myself and i'm good to go so that sits right there for now got some uh, tape back here this is just if you run into a situation you need to tape something real quick you can do that i'll probably just put that up in the front hatch actually um then like i said you got the paddle park here got your line cutters right here got your uh mounter so to get that off obviously you just would unhook that right there and then you can grab your stuff that you need to and i'm probably going to make a longer longer of a leash for this as well see that there i'll probably take some of this rope here and make that to where it doesn't it's not it's difficult i can just move it and grab a hold of it. i don't have to worry about unhooking anything and then she paddle this is if you have the pedal drive system that you can get for this kayak installed uh this is where you would put your controls for that so that's why those holes are there and then coming around here and i forget what this is called here mighty mount max something like that but uh in dashboard xl that's right so this is the dashboard xl it's just go everything's on these tracks that's one thing that i like about the new canoes is there's tracks throughout the entire boat there's nothing that i cannot do to this kayak but right now it is fully rigged to get on the water and go catch fish just like this right here uh, this kayak is 41 inches wide it is 12 foot long it has a weight capacity of 650 pounds so with me and all my gear i've still got plenty of room to go the self belting weight is 400 or 450 pounds what that basically means is at that level that's when water would start coming in through here if you got to that level so uh we're not gonna have to worry about that problem uh, as far as that goes but anyway that's there i do have scupper plugs scupper plugs are usually going to be in when i'm on a lake um because again i can easily if i need if i do get water in here if it's raining or whatever i can just wheel over to a bank and then i can just pull these out and uh, you know they'll they'll take care of the business that way so um but anyway that's the scupper plugs there scupper holes this is the new canoe frontier 12 bulldog red as you can see there's plenty plenty of room uh up here for me and all my gear i mean literally this thing is like loaded down this is probably the most i've ever had on a kayak at any given time uh normally i don't carry a whole whole lot or at least i don't think so i gotten down when i had the pursuit to where i didn't even need the crate um i'm only bringing the crate just well, for, for one, because I can. And two, it'll give me just a place to where, you know, if I need to, I can throw 
trash back in there real quick and I don't have to worry about uh, trash, you know, getting in uh, the lake and stuff like that. And if I see trash on the lake, I try to pick it up as well because I hate, I hate that. That's just not the way to go. So uh, let me go back over here and show you quick the way I've got it set up. I have it set up perfectly for me and my needs. Um, we'll just lift it up and then obviously I would just turn it around lay my fish inside here just like that up in that corner and they'll lay there and when i measure my fish i try not to have my hand on there but with the identifier you'll you have to do that if you write it on your hands so that's the only reason i put my hands near the fish but the rules are is like you can't you can't have your fin touch your fingers or hands touching the tail and things like that and so uh, this will help me, you know, once we get an identifier on here, uh, where, where we can just clip it to that, um, or to have it somewhere here in the picture, that'll be great. But uh, otherwise, you know, we'll just write it on our hand for now, and then we'll use the catch board here. But I've got that set to where I can just simply, you know, grab that when I'm done, grab it, swing it around. It goes nice and neat right back there in this little spot. And again, like I said, plenty of room. Here, I'll be sitting right there in that nice 360 seat on that nice cushion, looking at my Garmin, finding fish, having a good time, enjoying myself. Got plenty of plenty of room, guys. So this is the new canoe Frontier 12. This is a complete walk around. Hope you guys enjoyed it. The next video will be me fishing on that. That'll be Cherokee Lake, and that'll actually be uh, tomorrow. So you guys will see this today on Saturday, April the, what is it, the 2nd. So I'll just throw that tape right in there. Put that there. Boom. I'm actually going to take my battery in tonight, get it, make sure it's good and charged. Good to go for tomorrow. That little, little battery right there, get two to three days out of it. And I'm talking when I fish, I fish anywhere from eight to ten hours a day. So usually I can get two to three days on that one charge on that battery so guys excited this is uh tomorrow's gonna be the maiden voyage in this kayak as far as tournament fishing goes i did have it out on the water when i when i tested it for the first time and um for me i'm i'm just i'm pumped up i couldn't be more excited as i am right now uh, about having this boat this is going to be a game changer for us it's going to be huge um benefit to have and i'm definitely definitely looking forward to it so it's not as long as the pursuit the pursuit was 13 6 and this one's 12 so this one's a foot and a half long or less uh, shorter rather than the pursuit but it is wider and i hope you guys can see just how wide that is to appreciate that let me zoom out here just a second and i'll zoom in but uh, you guys can get a close-up there on that so there we go but here's there she is man all her glory boat is boat is amazing plenty of room for fishing and surprisingly this paddle this thing paddles and cuts through water like a dream i paddled it upstream the day that i got it and fast moving current just matter of fact it was water that was um come from the flood that we had recently and so boone boone lake pumping into patrick henry on a stretch of the river there the water was moving pretty good i was able to pass straight upstream no problem whatsoever but uh this kayak is ready to hit the water tomorrow and i can't wait to be able to get there get this thing in the water and get to my spots and start fishing it's going to be an absolute uh game changer a dream and uh, excited about it guys so appreciate you guys so much for being part of the channel we are here in uh, White Pine, Tennessee currently, visiting some in-laws for Easter weekend. But uh, the wifey was gracious enough to allow me to go ahead and go out fishing tomorrow and do my thing. So anyway, guys, this is the new canoe, Frontier. Uh, here's what I would like to do. If you made it to this part of the video, I would like for you to drop a comment below with a name for my kayak. Now... We've got to give her a girl name, okay? We've got to give her a girl name. 
and uh, you guys can help me come up with a, a good name for this kayak, I would greatly appreciate it. We're approaching, we may be over 300 subscribers after this video drops, I don't know, but we're approaching 300 subscribers. Guys, if you guys can help us get to 500 by just sharing our content out on your news feed, uh, hitting that like button, go back and hit like on every video that I've got. Um, if you don't care, that would be that would be helpful as can be. Let's get this thing. We got some momentum going, and we're heading in the right direction. Our watch hours are like ridiculous for the size of our channel. Uh, it's ridiculous. It's it's you know in only like seventy something videos, we're we're like almost to that point as far as watch hours goes. If we could get our subscribers up a little bit, we'll crush that four thousand uh, minimum watch time that youtube has we'll crush that no problem because our videos are getting watched for some reason and we do, we're appreciative of that but anyway guys this is my baby what will we name her we will not be uh this this guy's gonna be with us for a while this is this is the one it's taken a long time it's been a journey of trying different kayaks and all that kind of stuff but this is this is the one so we've got her our baby now let's give her a name what shall we call her? Tomorrow is her maiden voyage for catching fish. So, guys, stay safe, stay strong. Remember always, you are a champion.